My name is Sarah Howell. I'm here representing the charismatic Episcopal Church for Life and the grassroots movements of citizens in Alabama. We work with organizations all over the world, but we're based in Birmingham. And here in Alabama, I can say that we have one of the best pro-life communities in the world. They work so hard, and they're so involved. There's been a lot of coverage in the media since HB 314 was passed. A lot of local coverage, national coverage too, but it's been a bit of a whirlwind here. And I saw a headline last week that highlighted the fact that men voted to pass HB 314. What it did not highlight was that the bill was sponsored by a woman, the woman who spoke so eloquently at the beginning of this rally. What that same headline did not highlight was that the bill was signed by Governor Kay Ivey, also a woman, and not just a woman, but the first female Republican governor in Alabama, and only the second female governor in all of Alabama history. But even more than that, what that media did not highlight, and what the media has not even attempted to discover, is the amazing pro-life women mothers, daughters, granddaughters, citizens who have done all they can. They have contacted their legislators. They have been down on their knees in prayer. And because of their efforts and their prayers, coupled with the efforts and prayers of everybody else, we saw HB 314 passed. Now, I know those women. I work with those women. I was contacted by those women asking, what can we do to make sure this gets passed? And I am one of those women that contacted my legislator, that prayed, that works every day to end the abortion industry in our state. There was a much different rally here a few days ago on the same steps. And during that rally, Stacy Fox, the CEO of Planned Parenthood Southeast said, banning abortion does not stop abortion. It stops safe abortion. Well, let me tell you, there are two Planned Parenthoods in this state, one in Mobile and one in Birmingham. Neither of those facilities have performed abortions in nearly two years. Both have been unable to attract a doctor. Both have been found covering up statutory rape. Speaking of a rape exception, why is it that Planned Parenthood is so invested? Because they help cover up rapists' crimes. Both of those facilities have harmed women. Mobile is currently closed, supposedly for renovations, and the only reason the Birmingham location is open for STD testing is because Planned Parenthood Southeast, which is located in a different state, is subsidizing that clinic and paying the full cost of building a brand new facility in Birmingham. Planned Parenthood Southeast also funneled $1.4 million into defeating the life-affirming Amendment 2 last year. And they have every intention of suing Alabama for a pro-life law that the people of Alabama supported. You see, Stacey Fox's problem is she thinks the people of Alabama don't matter, women or children, that our voices can't create change. But Alabama is a pro-life state. Abortion has hurt women in Alabama. Abortion has no compassion for children in Alabama. And we don't need abortion, and we don't want abortion. Planned Parenthood knows that if they can establish themselves here, they can establish themselves anywhere in the South. That's why they come after Alabama. But what we want, especially as women, is to see mothers truly cared for, to see them given real options like the options that have been talked about today, and to be respected for our respect for human life. Planned Parenthood is a badly run business that breaks laws and kills children, and the same is true of every single abortion clinic in this state. That's why they're struggling so hard to maintain just two clinics in the state of Alabama. That's why $1.4 million didn't make a dent in last November's Vote for Amendment 2, which passed with overwhelming support. And that's why the, the women of Alabama, in larger numbers than the media will ever record, do not support abortion, and do not support Planned Parenthood. We support life, all life, every life. And as this bill moves through the courts, we will continue to lift our hearts in prayer and our voices in solidarity with children in the womb. And may Alabama continue to lead the nation. Amen? Amen.